Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking. Today I'm going to show you the first tutorial mission of the upcoming automation demo release. Alright, so let's get started. The Cossack Taxi is the first tutorial mission and the goal of this mission is to tell you how to build an engine which runs on crappy fuel without failing horribly. And our starting point is an engine which actually works fine, as you can see if you run it. I will skip the test here, but you can see that actually we are performing according to specifications. We produce a power which is higher than 74 kilowatts and we do have a lifespan which is 770 mega revs, which is higher than 700 mega revs. The only issue with this engine is that we are currently using a fuel which has a too high quality than the required one. So what happens if we just change fuel quality? Well, let's try this out. Well, we see it starts at least. Ouch! Okay. First of all, we have a glorified food blender, as you can see here in those numbers. Also, we have an engine which won't make a taxi driver look very good when he accepts a new passenger and starts the engine to blow it away. Right, so we have to change this fact and we have several options in this scenario to do such. We will start out at the top end tab where we have the first and one of the most important points for doing this change. It's the compression slider. Compression is a measure of how much the fuel-air mixture gets squeezed before you try to ignite it. If you run a too high compression, the fuel-air mixture will self-ignite and just cause knocking, which can destroy the engine if you punch it too hard. So. What we do is to lower it to, say, 7.3 and leave all the other things the same. If you try to learn about different aspects of the engine designer, you should always just iterate one little thing and see what it does so that you don't run into complexity issues. Right, so let's start the engine again and see what it does now. So now it's revving fine and it's producing much more power now as compared to before. But there is one little thing which is not good and that is we are not producing enough power. As you can see here we are just below the required 80.0 RON and the fuel type is 80.0 so if we go beyond this number we will get back our knock knocking effects which will reduce the power and torque output of the engine but how do we get back our power well I can show you one option and that is fuel mixture if you run a very rich fuel mixture you will achieve a higher power rating but also you will consume more fuel of course. Another effect of changing the fuel mixture to high settings is that you further reduce your run requirements. So if we just run this engine now let's see what happens. Because you can see here we start out quite a bit higher while the shape of the curve doesn't change it just scales. Alright, so now we have built an engine which probably consumes a bit too much fuel but on the other hand you can always tell your passengers that your taxi is a race taxi and they will believe you directly if you put some decals on it and stripes, racing stripes, that will always do. Um, so no more funny questions. Right, uh, what more can we do? So now we have an engine which actually is built according to specifications but we can put more power into it and this you can do by changing cam profile 
Cam profile probably is the single most important aspect of every engine you will des be designing in automation. A high cam profile optimizes the engine for higher RPM, while a low po cam profile will optimize it for lower RPM. If I change the cam profile to 60 from the 40 which we had previously, let's see what happens. Well, that's 59 now, but we don't care. So as you can see, it starts off lower. At lower RPM, it is lower. Then it rises quickly. Now it is passing the old value and it will top out higher and at a higher RPM. One drawback of this is that by doing so you will lower your lifespan. And right now we are sitting just below the 700. And to show you how sensitive this is, I will lower it by just one. Cam profile 58 instead of 59 and see what happens. We run it again. We start out slightly higher in torque and see where we end up. Gold rank. And that should basically do it. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.